Hi, it's Kathy He from John R. Wood and Christie's International. Today's topic in my series is, when touring home, what should you be looking for as far as the aspects of the property to make an informed decision? So I'm going to be reviewing our checklist. If you like what you hear, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. There's a lot more to come. So when we're walking in through the front door, the most important thing because of insurance rates is the exterior. What does the roof look like? And when I'm getting you background information about the house, we should have the age of the roof because that is part of the seller's disclosure, which we will have access to. So for insurance purposes, you want a roof that is fairly new and that will help reduce your overall cost of insurance. We're gonna be looking at the windows and doors. Again, very important for hurricanes, getting hurricane resistance, windows, doors, garage doors. All of those things we'll be paying attention to because that will help us reduce our overall insurance costs. What's the driveway look like? Is it paved? Does it have pavers? Again, aesthetically, what does the house look like when we pull up for curb appeal? That's important. It's important to you. Now we're looking at the structural elements. How's the foundation? We'll be walking around the entire property, making sure that the integrity of the walls are there and any signs of water damage or leaks. Once we go inside, I like to see you know what what way the house is facing because I like to see if we're getting some natural light you know you're gonna walk in and the agent is there is probably got all the lights on every single light in the house so I like to turn some lights out actually and see what the natural light is giving us kitchens of course we want to look at the age of the appliances which will also be noted in the seller's disclosure we want to look at the if the cabinets and the countertops are all original you know, Corian was very popular years ago, and now it was granite, and now we're moving to quartz. So we're going to look at the cabinetry and what the cabinet countertops are made of. Now, paint is inexpensive, so if they're older style cabinets, it's very easy to paint those and change out the hardware to make a fresh new look. Moving on to the bathrooms, we'll again want to see if they are current or they are dated. And if they're dated, you might wanna be doing some remodeling there. So, you know, that's an additional expense. One thing I really recommend that you do when you're previewing homes is look under the sink of the bathrooms and in the kitchen sink to see if there's any possible presence of leaks or water damage. It's a favorite spot to find places. We're gonna be looking at next on the utilities, the cooling system. It's hot here and we use our AC all the time and so we want to know what the age of the ac is as well as the hot water heater hot water heaters are less expensive to replace but ac units are more of a hefty um, expense we want to look at the insulation and how energy efficient the home is next we're going to look at storage okay we are not in the north and we don't have basements obviously so storage here is key yes we want extra storage in the garage we want an oversized garage. We want closets that are really well done so that all the way up when you look up, there's shelving and there's, is there any storage in the attic? You know, we just need more storage. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to want more storage because you're going to bring all your stuff down from the north and you're going to go, where are we going to put this? So storage is really important. And the garage, we didn't talk about the garage. The garage, we want to make sure, again, it was oversized. Epoxy flooring is very popular right now. And we also want to look if there's any storage above where the ceiling is in the garage and possibly if, the air, if there's air conditioning in the garage. That's also a big bonus. Of course, safety features. We're going to make sure they have smoke detectors or carbon monoxide and everything is accessible and the staircases are sturdy if there if there is a second floor unit if it's well lit and we spoke earlier about windows and doors um, they need to function properly and secure and now we're going to talk about storm shutters so many of our homes down here either have hurricane proof windows which is awesome or they have you know, double hung windows that are not insulated and they are only insulated by using storm shutters. These can be manual or automatic. And if they're automatic, it's a big bonus. I really suggest putting up storm shutters and having them automated uh, before you leave to go back up north. It's a lot of work to put those up manually. So those are some of the things that are important 
when I'm taking you through homes. And that's what we'll be looking for. And lastly, we'll be looking for odors in the home. Do we see any pest? You know, there'll be inspections for all of these once you make an offer on a home or when you do. But these are some of the things that will be important as we walk through the house. I'm gonna be providing below a document that I give you when we walk through the homes for you to make comments on. Because as we tour homes, they're all gonna to start to blend together. So it's important that we either take pictures and write down everything you like and don't like, and then we go through everything I just mentioned. I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to touring with you in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. This is Kathy He from John R. Wood and Christie's International. If you would like to contact me personally, I'm at 802-363-2411 or kathyhee.com and you can see all of my listings. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. And I look forward to hearing from you.